This is a demonstration of uh, the point of interest. Let's get uh, this puppy up in the air. Improve your drone footage by subscribing to my weekly tips, test and tutorial. I tried to demo this a little bit earlier today uh, where I would wanted to do it live. But uh, for some reason uh, it didn't uh, want me to do that. So, uh, so now I'm out here with the water tower where I normally do my filming. And if I press here to focus, I will put it up a little bit higher than the water tower like that. And uh, everything is uh, like it's supposed to be, but we just need to go in here to the internal storage. Du -du -du, switch to SD card, like that. And I think for this demonstration, we would uh, pop this one down to 1080p, 25 frames per second, like that. So now we have our point of interest. That's this uh, water tower. And we want to circle around it. So uh, the way we do that is uh, we go into the menu here and we take a uh, point of interest. And uh, it's different than the last time where you actually had to fly over the subject. I just mark it here with a green square and then I press go. And now it starts to uh, fly around our point of interest. And I will start the recording. And uh, I can do, uh, I can basically operate the sticks uh, while it's flying. I can go higher up if I want to. I can even turn the camera away from uh, the point of interest. And then uh, the beautiful thing is that, that it actually has like a button. So if I press that one, it will automatically uh, direct the drone towards the point of interest again. So now it's going around there and uh, I can press the speed dial here and I can actually increase so it goes faster now. And uh, I can of course adjust the gimbal a little bit if I want that so it's in the center of the frame. And let's say that I want to switch the direction. There's a button for that. I just do that and it stops and it continues in the other direction. So this is basically how it works. I can also see data about uh, how far, what's the radius that I'm uh, traveling around. I can see the height, like that. So that's a pretty neat feature. And it's pretty easy to operate compared to what it was uh, in the past. Because uh, as mentioned in the past, I had to go over the point of interest to actually uh, be able to set the center of uh, the circle. Let's switch direction again like that so once I was above the building I could set the center of uh, the radius and uh, then I had to move the aircraft to a certain radius before I could start it here it's just very simple let's just repeat it again so if I press stop here the only thing that I need to do is I need to draw a square on uh, the point of interest and then press go it can't be much easier than that As mentioned, I, I tried to broadcast this live uh, a little bit earlier. It seems I have a bit of a problem uh, doing these uh, live streams. Uh, and uh, it's a shame because it's such a good way to show you how everything works. And I can see I can also... Uh, I can increase the radius if I want to. Everything while it's flying, it's smooth. It looks so nice when it does this. Let's go further up. Look at this. What's not to like about this feature? So let's stop the recording. Let's uh, stop the point of interest and bring it home. So this was basically a live, uh, uh, not a live, but an after live demonstration uh, of the point of interest, because even though it, I didn't manage to broadcast it, I think you should see it anyway. Also, if uh, you want more tips like this, uh, then let me know in the comment section uh, below. And if you're not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to my weekly tips, test and tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.